All right, time for sports. As kickoff for the high school football season gets closer, we continue our Blitz 16 previews with the team that is on the brink of breaking out. Tonight, we visit the Florence Eagles. You go switch it up. This is up. Florence High School is all about getting a step further in 2023. It's kind of like a revenge tour a little bit. Last year, they had a true up and down season. They won five straight, lost three in a row, and fell in their season finale to Natchez after winning three straight going into that final game. And that loss cost them a playoff spot. That finish is motivation enough for this group. I think we lost a lot of guys, but we're bringing a lot of guys back and everybody's just motivated to, you know, make the playoffs and go way farther than we did last year. And I think if we can get everybody to, to buy in and rally up, then we're going to be a pretty good team this year. Head coach Rod Davis is going into his fifth year leading the program. He's a former Southern Miss defensive standout, but his Eagles offense averaged about 28 points per game last year, and he believes they'll be able to put up more points because of experience. We start off with our quarterback, Luke Reed. You know, he's going to be a three-year start, and Xavier Quick. He's going to kind of carry the load, and we got a few young running backs that's going to be difference-making, so I'm real thrilled about that side of the ball. But uh, we got some good young players. It's just how fast they're going to uh, mature. Florence opens their season with Forest Hill, and the Eagles are flying under the radar in 5A, but they will love to turn heads this fall. Being one of those underrated teams, it just it, it makes everybody want to work harder, and it makes winning feel a whole lot better when you know that not everybody knows a lot about Florence. I'm thrilled about leading these guys and these guys leading themselves. You know, this is a special group. We'll continue to get better each and every day, and, and like I said, let the chips fall where they may.